Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here with one of my favorite animals. So those of you that paint with me at school or at the studio um, have probably painted an owl. And those of you that have painted with me for like four or five years, like maybe you're one of my fourth or fifth graders, you have probably done like 20 owls with me because they are my favorite, owls and foxes. Um, so I will show you guys how to draw this super cute, it's a very simple owl, it's a very simple shape, so it's a lot easier than some of the other detailed owls that I do. So this one is one that I could possibly even do with my preschoolers. Um, but if you're an older, if you're one of my older kids um, watching, you can also add so many extra details to this to make it your own. Um, also, today I'm working on paper, um, but if you are working on canvas, this is a fantastic little canvas for you to paint. So um, let's get started. And I'm starting with Sharpie, but again, you guys start with pencil and eraser just in case you make some mistakes. So to start the super cute but super simple owl, all you have to do is do a giant letter U, like that. So that's, that is like the whole body and everything is gonna be inside this. So after you have this giant letter U, owls have, I don't know if you call them horns or ears or I don't know what they are, but they have these like little pointed tips to, their, to the edges of their head. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna do like a triangle over here and I'm gonna try to match it and do a triangle over here, like that, okay. So I've got that. And then I just connect the two, like this. So I've got like a letter U with two triangles and a line connecting them. So after you have that, I'm gonna do the giant owl eyes. So now when I draw owls, I make their eyes really big, like this, huge, like that. All right, so big owl eyes. And then inside those eyes, I'm gonna put two smaller circles, gonna make it look like a donut. And then inside the donut holes here, I'm gonna do some sparkles. So here we go. We got like super sparkly eyes. I'm gonna try to do the same sparkles in this eye. And I'm gonna color in the black part of the eye like that. After you have your eyes done, a lot of times with owls, I like to add like some fancy eyelashes. Again, that's like an extra thing. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I think it's kind of cute, so I always do that. After you have your eyes done, we're gonna go ahead and put on our beak. So to start our beak, I actually make this owl look like it's a little grumpy. It's just got like a little frown. And after you have this little frown, we're gonna put the letter V underneath it and it's gonna turn it into a little owl beak. And then after we have that part done, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the wings. Now in this painting, and today it's a drawing, but in this sample painting, I put the wings in. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do in wings. So these wings are gonna be reaching across the owl and swoop, swoop, swooping, like that. Same thing on the other side, reaching across the owl, swoop, swoop, swoop. And then you guys can put like a little like, I always like to put a line here so like you can tell this is like the head and this is the belly. And then if you guys wanna add some little extra details, in my example, I just had like a couple little brush strokes. If I were painting, I would probably just put some different colored brush strokes maybe on the belly to make it look kind of feathery. Another way you can kind of make it look feathery is if you put like these little swoops like this. So sometimes I'll just like fill in the whole belly with like little swoops. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like every time I do these swoops, they get off, like get a little bit off or some are a little bigger than others. It doesn't matter. We're just having fun making art. So I'm just gonna kind of like fill in the rest of this. There we go. That looks pretty good. So once we have our wing and we've got our belly, I'm gonna go ahead and add the little owl feet. So owl's feet, I just do them really small and they're just like three little ovals like that. There's one, 
two, three, there's the other one. So there's my owl. Now, right now, our owl looks like it's falling. We need to make sure if its wings are out, it might be flying, and then it wouldn't matter if you put it on a branch. But because the wings are in, our, our owl is falling right now. It's not flying, it's falling. So we need to make sure that we put these toes on a branch. So I'm gonna show you guys how I like to do that. So I go like this. And then this one, I might even turn it in, like swoop it up a little bit like this. And then down here, we're gonna go like this. And I'm gonna swoop it like this because I'm gonna turn this into a Y branch. It's like a sideways letter Y. Sometimes I do my branches like this if I'm being fancy. All right, so after you have your branch of your owl sitting on, you can decorate this however you want. So a lot of times I'll either put leaves on the tree or sometimes I'll just put like a couple little cute flowers. Like maybe I'll do like donut flowers with little petals around. And I'll just like really have fun decorating. So I'll do a couple different kinds of flowers maybe. Here's like another small one. But this is the part where, yeah, a lot of my young friends, my, my little guys, they won't have no problem with doing this. But you know what? My older kids can have fun too because you guys can add all these little extra details that make it beautiful. So just have fun filling in all this space. You can put clouds and a sun in the sky if you want. You guys can really go to town on this one and make it really cool. All right, so when you get to coloring it, or painting it, some of you guys are painting. If you're painting at home, you guys get to choose any colors you want for this owl. So in my example, it's mostly pink, um, but you guys can make this any color. So one of the fun things that I've done before with this is when I've done an owl with feathers like this, sometimes I'll do them rainbow colors. So I'll do like red and then I'll do, where did I put my orange? Oh, there it is. I'll go through like all the colors of the rainbow so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Ooh, and when I get to yellow, I usually like to do, now sometimes I do my beak and my feet orange, but most times I do them yellow. So I'm gonna just, while I have this yellow out, I'm gonna go ahead and do my, my beak and my feet. And then I'll go green. But again, you guys can make this any colors that you want. And this is a fun one that you can do in any medium. So this is beautiful on canvas, which is my favorite. I wish I was painting. Painting is the best. All right, so it, you could do this on canvas. It's really pretty on canvas, but it's also, look at how bright and colorful it is on paper. So on paper, it's great. When I'm working with colored pencils today, you guys could be working with like, uh, markers, crayons, whatever you have. The most important thing is that you guys are making art. So thank you so much for joining me for our daily lesson. I will be back here tomorrow at 1 p.m. with something new.